I like Jake Paul. I like him, and no one can make me not like him. Fault will be like, ha ha ha, Jake Paul got knocked out. Nah, 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 nah. So? I don't care if he does get knocked out. August, I'm back, baby. Better know I don't give a f if he's 55. Yeah. That's still Mike well, Tyson. Hey, Mike's in good shape, too. Oh, my God. Mike I've... trains every day. He trains with Rafael mm -hmm. Cordero, who's a legend in MMA. He runs King's uh, Mixed Martial Arts. And Rafael is a f***ing world-renowned trainer. When you see him holding the mitts for Tyson, and Tyson smashing the mitts, yeah. like, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, my, that guy can still f*** yeah, you up. He don't, he don't want you. Dude, after that epic showdown between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson was announced, Iron Mike's been dropping these sick training videos every single day. I'm talking about intense workouts, crazy speed, and power moves that make you want to hit the gym ASAP. And let me tell you, these videos are like fire spreading across the internet faster than you can say knockout. Boxers from all over have been watching these videos, and they're straight up shook, man. They're seeing Tyson back in action, and they're like, whoa, we better watch out. So, you know what they did? They started sending out warnings to Jake Paul, telling him to think twice before stepping back into the ring with Iron Mike. I mean, can you blame him? Mike Tyson's a beast, and seeing him train like this, it's like a wake-up call for anyone thinking they can take him lightly. But you know what Jake Paul's like, right? He's all about that confidence, that swagger. He's probably watching those videos, cracking his knuckles and saying, Bring it on, Iron Mike. Man, talk about guts. So, Joe Rogan, man, he ain't holding back when it comes to predicting who'd win between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Tyson, bro, he made history as the youngest heavyweight champ ever at just 20. And not only that, he's the first heavyweight boxer to hold the WBA, WBC, and IBF titles all at once. That's some serious cred right there. But hold up, Jake Paul's been making moves too. Last month, he took down Ryan Borland in his 10th pro fight. Yeah, he started out as a YouTuber, but now he's all about that boxing life, you feel me? Now Tyson's got age on his side, right? Dude's like 30 years older than Paul, and hasn't fought pro since 2005. But Rogan's like, nah, Tyson's still got the goods. On his podcast, he straight up said, forget that Jake Paul's a YouTube guy, he can throw down for real. Rogan's all about that real talk, man. He's saying Tyson's training with Rafael Cordero, this MMA legend, and they're using all this high-tech stuff to keep him sharp. Like, they're not messing around, bro. Tyson's still got that knockout power, and his speed's no joke either. And get this, Rogan's like, even at 55, Tyson will mess you up. He's talking about how Tyson still got that killer instinct, that ferocity that'll make Paul think twice about stepping into the ring with him. So, yeah, Rogan's laying it out there. Tyson's still a force to be reckoned with, even in his 50s. And if Paul sees Tyson across the ring, he's gonna know he's in for a world of hurt. But there are some delusionals on Twitter who think, Say, man. I know y'all see Mike Tyson from the whoop Jake Paul last. You man. gotta give it to Jake Paul, though. He's been doing his thing out here. Has he lost? Yeah. Who, who beat him? Tommy Fury. Nobody cares about him. Like seriously, bro. Yes, Jake Paul has lost only one fight, but whom did he win against? Deji, a YouTuber. Anison Gibb, another YouTuber. Nate Robinson, an NBA star. Tyson is a real boxer. He had fought against some serious animals in the ring. Not any part-time boxers. If anyone's opinion matters, then it's a real boxer. Former world champ Amir Khan dropped some major predictions about the Tyson vs. Jake Paul fight. And man, it's got everyone talking. This dude is a British boxing legend, no doubt about it. He's been tearing it up in the ring since 2005, showcasing his skills and leaving his mark on the sport until 2022. Khan's not just any boxer, bro. He's held unified, light welterweight world championships from 2009 to 2012, snagging titles like the WBA and IBF belts. That's some serious hardware right there. So, when you're talking about boxing royalty, you gotta mention Amir Khan. And Khan's not holding back, man. He's laying it down straight, saying, Iron Mike's gonna come out swinging and snag that early knockout victory. And hey, 
you gotta respect Khan's opinion, right? I mean, this guy's been in the ring with some serious heavyweights, so he knows what he's talking about. He's like, yo, Mike Tyson's a freaking legend, a heavyweight icon. Messing with him? Not a smart move, especially if you're Jake Paul, who's lighter and smaller. Khan's got serious concerns that Paul might end up taking some serious hits, because, let's face it, Tyson's still got that insane power, even though he's in his 50s. And, get this, Khan's mind is completely blown that this fight's even happening. He's like, is it all just hype or what? But regardless, he's putting his money on Tyson for the win, because, come on, Tyson's still a beast in the ring, no doubt about it. Despite Tyson being one of the most feared names in boxing history, at the age of 57, not everyone's convinced he's gonna pull off an upset against the problem child, Jake Paul. One of the doubters? UFC star Colby Covington, man. This dude is a straight-up American, mixed martial arts beast. He's been tearing it up in the UFC, fighting in the welterweight division like a boss. I don't like it at all. I think, you know, Mike still looks like a superhuman for 58, but he's still 58 years old and, you know, he shouldn't be fighting anymore. I don't think it's safe. I think it's dangerous. At, at that age, your heart might explode. You know, he gets hit in the head. Is he might have a brain bleed. I mean, the guy, I, I, that's what I hope for. I hope for, that Mike Tyson makes it through injury-free and doesn't get hurt. But I don't like the fight. They, you know, Jake's in his mid-20s. He's doing every chemical no demand. He's literally a lab project. They're just juicing him up, him and his brother. Yeah. Everybody knows that. The machine's behind him, juicing him up, putting every chemical no demand. So I think it's going to end bad. I think, you know, Jake's going to probably knock him out within the first two minutes. And if he doesn't, then it'll be because he's carrying him and he's trying to make the freak show look like it's a competitive fight. But I, I hate the fight. I think it, it, I think it takes away from Mike Tyson's legacy when a guy like this comes in and beats him. A, 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 a quote unquote YouTuber, you know, comes in and beats a, you know, the baddest man on the planet, Do the most think feared Jake man. Paul's gonna beat Mike Tyson? Oh, come on. He's in his 20s. First off, that footage is not live footage. I can yeah. promise you that Mike Tyson's camp, they had that footage filmed from a, a couple years ago. So that's not like the current Mike, Mike Tyson. I was actually on a flight with him a couple weeks ago. We were flying to Vegas together. Sweetest guy in the world. Yeah, with yeah. Tyson. Sweetest guy. Nice guy, but he doesn't look like that right now. And, and that's definitely not how he's hitting pads. That's from years prior. But we saw his last fight with Roy Jones Jr. And he yeah. looked slow. He looked old. Everybody saw that. They were like, man, this is he shouldn't be getting in that ring anymore. So... Covington's got some serious credentials. He's a former interim UFC welterweight champion, which is no joke. And as of March 12, 2024, he's holding down that number four spot in the UFC welterweight rankings. So when a fighter like Colby Covington speaks up about a matchup like Tyson versus Jake Paul, you better believe he's got some serious insight to drop. He's straight up saying that Paul's gonna either knock Tyson out real quick or carry him for a few rounds. Colby's not holding back, bro. He's like, I think Jake is gonna probably knock him out within the first two minutes. And if he doesn't, Colby thinks it's because Paul's just trying to make the fight look competitive. You know, he's calling it a freak show and he's not feeling it at all. He's saying it's gonna tarnish Tyson's rep if a YouTuber like Paul comes in and beats him. Like, imagine that. A YouTuber taking down the baddest man on the planet? That's just not sitting right with Colby. But Mike Tyson, even at 57, 58, however old he is, he's still Mike Tyson. When I box him in 21, he still punch like Mike Tyson. If he hits anybody square on the chin, it's going to be problematic. I don't care who it is. So I like Jake Paul. He's a good guy. I think he's doing good with his boxing. Stuff. I think it's a great promotional situation for him and Mike. Um, they should do really good numbers, especially having it upgraded to a real fight. But if Mike comes out and beats Mike like Mike normally does, it'll be pretty tough for Jake. Now, if Jake stay away from him about four or five rounds, then Jake has a chance. But he got to do a lot of maneuvering to stay away from him. So, yeah, that's my take. Thank you. Roy Jones Jr., the legend himself, is dropping some serious truth bombs about Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight. Jones ain't holding back, man. He's been in the ring with Tyson, and he knows what's up. He's straight up saying, yo, I boxed Tyson in 2021, and let me tell you, he still punches like Mike Tyson. And if Tyson lands one of those bombs square on the chin of anyone, it's gonna be problematic, no doubt about it. Let's see what else he got to say. But Francis Ngannou has different thoughts. The Beast from Cameroon and France, Ngannou's a powerhouse. 
in the world of mixed martial arts and boxing, especially in the UFC's heavyweight division. And get this, he was even the reigning UFC heavyweight champion before he left the promotion. But when it comes to Tyson versus Paul, Nanu's like, yo, I'm still processing this. He thought it was gonna be some Netflix movie or something, but when he realized it's an actual fight, it hit him like a shockwave. But hey, Nanu's got mad respect for Tyson, no doubt about it. He's ready to roll out and support the champ if it's true. Cause let's face it, Tyson's still got that killer instinct and he can still kick some serious butt in the ring, according to Naganu. But check it out, Nate Diaz, the OG from Stockton, is throwing down his thoughts on the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight and he's not holding back one bit. When asked about the matchup, Diaz's response was straight up legendary. He's like, I don't give a full cock, nah, Mike Tyson. Short and sweet, man. Diaz ain't wasting time with explanations or predictions. Zab Judah, Mike Tyson's close confidant and a legendary fighter himself, is dropping some serious wisdom on the upcoming Tyson vs. Jake Paul showdown. Judah ain't playing around, man. He's straight up saying this ain't no ordinary publicity stunt. Nah, this is the real deal, a multi-million dollar pay-per-view spectacle that's gonna shake the boxing world. When asked about the battle between Mike and Jake, Judah didn't hold back. He's like, yo, the Mike Tyson we know, the animal, the lion. That dude's gonna show up and it's gonna be scary. He's painting a vivid picture of Tyson's mentality, comparing it to that of a ferocious beast inside the ring. Judah's like, if Mike's taking this fight on, you best believe he knows exactly what he's doing. Trust him, Tyson's gonna be Tyson, and that's something you don't want to mess with. Nah, when Mike steps into that ring, he means business. He's emphasizing that if Tyson takes on the challenge from Jake Paul, it's gonna be a whole different story for Paul. Like, for real, Paul's gonna have a problem dealing with Iron Mike. Judah's making it crystal clear that Tyson ain't about to mess around with a full 12 rounds. Nah, Tyson's gonna be looking for that early finish, no doubt about it. He's saying, listen, I've been in the game. I've seen Tyson's mindset. When he's in there, he's all business. And get this man, even at 58 years old, Tyson's still feeling that itch to keep fighting. Judah's admiring Tyson's dedication and drive, saying if Tyson decides to step back in that ring, he's going for the biggest and best challenges out there. And when it comes to the question of a knockout, Judah's not even hesitating. He's like, of course Tyson's gonna knock him out. Jake ain't got what it takes to knock out Tyson, no way. And you know what? Judah's so confident, he's ready to put some money on it. So there you have it, straight from the champ's homie himself. Judah's laying down the truth and it's got us all pumped for what's gonna go down when Tyson and Paul step into that ring. So fam, if you're hyped for this epic showdown between Tyson and Jake Paul, you gotta hit that like button, subscribe for more awesome content, and don't forget to ring that bell to stay updated on all the latest news and updates in the world of boxing. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this.